I never wanted to follow the latest shiny things, but dang, Swelt Kid, Astro Bun, those things are amazing. <laughs> and welcome back to a new developer logbook episode. In this format I'm sharing everything that I did in the last month, everything that's currently going on in my business and that I plan for the next time so you get a better look behind the scenes of the person doing this channel. The last month was really completely... Uh, it was just content, content, content. Developers, 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 de and actually I never felt better about creating that kind of content. So first of all, we had great podcast episodes. The numbers of the podcast are growing and Simon and I enjoy creating the podcast more and more and we dive into more advanced topics. We now prepare better for the podcast and we just love it. And suddenly I'm creating podcasts like I'm a podcaster. What? This is funny because that has always been my goal for years and I never thought like I could never create a podcast and now I'm just doing this since a few months and well thanks Simon for having me as a co-creator on the podcast. Second, I highly enjoyed the live streams we had with the Simonix community. There were constantly 30 plus people in the live stream and we were building this votastic application together and I really enjoyed this because I didn't really need a script and I just did pretty much everything free flow. So that felt great and I enjoyed the interaction. So if you've been part of the streams, thanks for being there. Um, if you haven't seen them, it's usually on Thursday, 3 p.m. German time. That is GMT plus two right now, I think. I really hate time zones. So if you want to tune in, I would love to see you in the next stream, but it's not gonna happen every Thursday, but I try the most. Third, I also rethought the Devdactic newsletter. So for the last five, six, I don't know how many years. This has been pretty much, hey, this is Simon, it's Tuesday, here's my new content, have a great week. And I thought, well, I'm having close to 20K developers on this newsletter list and I wanna provide a bit more to you because I now also try to keep up with a lot of things for the podcast, for the channel. So I can also give you quick bits of things that I capture throughout the week. So I upgraded the podcast to a new format, which now contains a few, a uh, brain food element and a few links to things going on and I hope people enjoy this. At least the first reaction was very positive. Number three, I also had sponsored content on this channel. So this didn't happen for a very long time. I had some collaboration very in the very beginning, but then for like the last five, six years, I never did any kind of sponsoring. And now I did this with Superbase and there will be more collaborations in the future simply because I have a quite a big reach now and I, well, we all need to make money somehow and I just want to recommend things that I think are interesting to you and that I also enjoy using. So if I get paid for creating the content that I kind of would do anyway, that's like a win-win for everyone. Many positive things going on right now, but let me tell you more about why I actually get into all these different frameworks and things and why I kind of enjoy what I do right now. Ah, this coffee today tastes so good. I don't know why. But for the last five, six, seven years, I've been doing pretty much 100% Ionic Angular content. And after my little mastermind session with myself a few weeks, month ago, I decided to open up to other content. And that kind of brought me a lot of clarity and a lot of joy because now I'm not only focusing on Ionic Angular anymore and I don't have this strict focus because I know that I'm working on a platform that will host more content for other frameworks, languages, whatever it might be. So all the content I create kind of benefits or is kind of working in the right direction anyway. So previously, if I would create a tutorial about, let's say, React, and I don't have any offer for the React community, well, that's pretty much useless. But now that I have the plan for the Academy 2.0 name still to be released, I actually do have a domain at this point. I will probably release it the name sometime soon. So it just feels very liberating to create this kind of fresh content and go into different directions. This might look to you like Simon is going into any kind of direction. I got emails about this. So why are you going for Swelt and why do you change to React? I'm not changing to anything. I'm just open to more things at this point. And this also comes because I'm challenged by Simon from the pod to do a bit of research. For example, we wanted to do an episode on Capacitor versus React Native versus Flutter. So I tried React Native a tiny bit in the past, which is funny again, one of my most uh, viewed videos. 
but I did have to get into them. So I built a React Native application and I also started playing around with Flutter and I actually enjoyed it. And I don't see why I shouldn't create something about these topics in the next time because they will help web developers, they will help mobile developers, they will just help people, developers to build great things. And that's what I wanna do. So that's also why I keep up with all the trends and developments and things like Bun, which is kinda a replacement for Node.js or Dino. You don't have to know about these things. In the past, usually I wasn't interested in those things because I knew I'm doing Ionic, I'm doing Angular, I'm gonna keep my scope exactly on those versions. However, now that I've opened up, I'm gonna just check out what's going on. Veet looks very promising and brings together the community. Um, we got Astro, which is awesome new framework for building static uh, websites using React, Vue, Svelte, different frameworks, just like a meta framework on top. So there's a lot of interesting stuff going on and I, at this point, just enjoy checking this out and creating content for you about it. So this doesn't mean that you have to follow all the trends. I didn't do this in the past because, well, if you work on a certain technology, you don't have to keep up with everything. You don't need to check out all the latest shiny things, but that's my job. I'm doing this for you so you can read bit-sized information in my newsletter, which you, by the way, should definitely sign up to if you're not part of the list. You should sign up so you get the Tuesday newsletter with the cool links and the, the great stuff. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it. On the other hand, I'm also doing it out of own interest because I'm building up a new platform, a new academy a web, uh, website for a membership, uh, which will have some courses and free material and uh, different things. And I'm using, at this point, at least that's my plan, Swelt Kit. Um, I might use Superbase for the back end. So I'm just following these things out of my own interest. And I already use Swelt Kit for the static block, which I think, is it live? I don't know, just check out devdacti.com. You will see if it's a new or the old design. Let me know if you enjoy it. And of course, I'm still following the Ionic and Capacitor versions and Angular versions, just, just a lot going on everywhere in the JavaScript world. So I try to keep up with most of the things. I try to create entertaining and educating content for you and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you got any questions, requests for things in the future, as always being the case, leave a comment. I read all the comments every week. I try to reply to as most as possible. And so that's the story why I try to keep up with the Java Dashians. All right, this already brings us to the end of today's developer logbook. I hope you enjoyed the little look behind the scenes and why I'm currently doing what I do. Plans for the next time are pretty easy. At this point, the relaunch devdectic static block should be live, but I will gonna uh, continue optimizing a few things. So there are a few pages missing and I wanna add a few functionalities to the page. So uh, finishing the static block or the additional features for the static block is definitely one of the main goals for September. But I'm pretty sure that's not gonna take me the whole month. So I will actually already start with the next iteration of the Academy. So the project I'm gonna most likely set up with Swelt Kit. I will probably do another video on all the technologies that I'm currently using for my project, but I think I'm gonna start and implement something like the user authentication and the general structure of the page just to have something and make progress towards the Academy 2.0. Besides that, there's some back and forth between the contractors I try to hire for uh, both ghostwriting some of my content as well as bringing in additional authors to my blog. And I'll continue with this. I will review the posts and I'm gonna work with them together. So that's an interesting process. It's completely new to me, but I think this will be very helpful for the Simonix community and all the web developers out there because we will gonna have a lot of different diverse content in the future on the blog. So overall, I just wanna reach more developers and help more people to build better web applications, build better mobile applications, and I think I'm on track. This won't happen from one week to the other, so it's a process, but I started it, and well, I'm in for the long game, and so far, I enjoy it. I enjoy the podcast, I enjoy the videos, the tutorials, the newsletter, pretty much every interaction with the community at this point. So I'm very happy for everyone tuning in, leaving comments, subscribing to the channel. And I hope you can feel that I currently enjoy the videos. And if you do so, of course, hit the like button and stay subscribed because we're actually close to 50K subscribers, which is the first goal. And I think at the current trajectory, we might hit 100K somewhere next year. That's gonna be a big step for the uh, Simonix community. I'm super excited if that really happens. I don't know if there's like, I definitely need to make a 100K special. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do at 100k. Please tell me ideas in the comments. I'll definitely check them out and I hope to catch you in the next video, live stream Thursday, remember. And then just have a great week, enjoy your work. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. And until then, happy coding, Simon.